Alexa, open Throne Adventure. Welcome to the Throne Adventure skill. Which way would you like to go? Go left. You choose to go left. You see Jon Snow. He is up to no good with the Night's Watch. Which way would you like to go now? Go right. You choose to go right. You see Joffrey. He is drinking wine. Which way would Hi you there. Like My name is Jamie and I'm here to make an Alexa skill. Specifically that Alexa skill you just saw in hopefully less than six minutes. The only thing you'll really need if you want to do this yourself is a little bit of programming knowledge, Amazon Web Services account, and Amazon Developer account. But apart from that, you should be good to go. But let's get straight into it. Okay, let's do this. First things first, Amazon Developer Portal. I'm going to create a new skill, custom interaction model, language, English UK, name, I'm English, uh, name, let's call it Throne Adventure. We'll also make the invocation name for an adventure. That's what you say to open your skill. We're going to go create a function in AWS Lambda. Um, just use the fact skill for now. AS, use ASK as the trigger. Um, we'll call the name GT. Um, uh, uh, fine, GTS. Um, description is gibberish. Uh, ignore the code for now. Uh, Lambda based execution as your existing role. Create function. If you don't already have a role, make one. Um, if, and make sure you're in Ireland and not Virginia, otherwise the trigger won't work. Okay, that's made to so copy the endpoint. Go back to the Amazon Developer Portal, AWS, uh, Ireland, paste that. Done. And we're, we're now connected the back end to the front end interaction model. So this is the bit between what this handles what the user says and make sure the skill responds appropriately. So, intents, we're going to have some intents. Um, an intent is basically. Um, like any individual part of the skill that the user can do. So in this case, we're making an adventure skill. So let's say we want to do, um, so you say go in, intent, and then we do go left. So maybe spell it right the first time. Uh, intent, go left, and then we do two more. And then which other directions can we go? We can go right, and then maybe there's another one. I don't know, go forward. And how do we hit these intents? So. I'm going to copy and paste those into our sample utterances. And now we need to assign some. So let's do two. So we'll do go left. So go left. And if you just says left, you know, the, you have to create multiple, but depending on how, you know, how your user says whatever they're trying to say. Go right. Maybe they just say right. And maybe, you know what? I don't quite. For now, forward. Done. So that's all sorted. Let's go to the back end again. You want to go to the code and we want to get rid of pretty much nearly all of this. There's a few things we need, like a lot of the setting up, but otherwise just get rid of get rid of that string and then get rid of that little bit over there. We can also remove all of this because we don't need it. <sighs> My voice. Launch request. So this is basically when the user opens the skill. What do you want to say to him? So we want to change this into ask to keep the session open a tell will close it and we want to say welcome to the throne adventure skill thank god i can touch type um which way would you like to go and yeah but bef i'm just skipping a the whole thing there's not there's no imagination in our skill yet so let's make a uh, a new array called sites i'm going to put that just above everything and what, what are we going to see in our adventure skill? So you see Jon Snow. He is up to up up to no good with the Night's Watch. Uh, no one said this was going to be up to date. You see, oh god, Joffrey. He is eating. Oh no, you know, you know, he is drinking wine. Yeah. Some of you will get it. I don't know. You see, um, wait, who do you see? Oh, I don't know who the characters you see. Uh, Rob, he is here. You see, oh my god, Danny, she is now a dragon. Ah, uh, look, I don't know. I'm, I'm in a rush. So, let's. So these intents that we made just before in the in the, um, in the Amazon developer portal, we want to use these now and sort of basically give responses to each of the intents when the user says one. 
So, we're going to make a new one here. So, we want go right, go forward. Very nice. So, if the user goes, if the user says go left, what do we want him to do? So, we want, let's make a new speech output variable. And we are going to just put in that you choose to go left. Put a space there and you'll see why in a sec. Because we are going to append onto that um, one of these things. So, sites, I could have just written that, but okay. Sites, uh, we need a random value now for one of those. So let's do math.floor. We're going to round up a random value between some numbers. Uh, my mind's gone blank. Dot random times times the sites.length take away one, put that in a bracket and then close this up with a nice semicolon so this is going to take one of these random sites, put it in there and then we're going to do one more appending thing uh, we need a space because you can see here there's no spaces on it after um, which way would you like to go now? Close that. And now, all we need to do... Uh, ask. So we're keeping the session open. Speech output. And now... Oh my god. I think this is going to work. We're going to paste these over here. Look, no one said this was going to be efficient. I can probably just make a function, but not now. Um, go right. Go forward, save, done. Phew, uh, 5.59. But as you can see, the skill, it's not going to knock anyone's shoes off, but you get the idea. But hopefully you're inspired to give it a shot for yourself. Find a link to the skill, uh, to the code and everything in the description below. Feel free to nick it, build on top of it, expand it and finish it, to be honest. And if you submit a skill this month, you will get a free pair of socks. And a dot, but I know, I know most people are in it for the socks. Yeah, if you like this video, like it, subscribe. I'm definitely thinking about making similar videos to this and even more complex ones. And yeah, thanks for watching.